The Tulsa City Council is looking for a way to end homelessness in the city. Thanks for sticking with us. I'm Shannon Brusso. I'm Brian Dorman. Mayor G.T. Bynum recently proposed an ordinance to allow police officers to remove anyone blocking sidewalks. News on 6's Mackenzie Gladney joins us now with the story here at 930. Well, representatives from Housing Solutions and A Way Home for Tulsa spoke with council members about strategies and initiatives for people who are living on the streets. And they also spoke about that proposed ordinance and the impact it could have for people who are homeless. The obstructing free passage ordinance says it shall be unlawful for any person to build a fire on any street, alley, or any other place used for pedestrians. Those convicted would face a fine of up to $100 and a jail sentence of up to five days for the first offense. Housing Solutions says this isn't the best approach because homelessness is on the rise. We have 881 people waiting for permanent supportive housing, so that's housing plus like really robust supports. We have 14 units left for them for 881 people. She says they're seeing an increase in veterans, youth, and families experiencing homelessness in Tulsa. She says some shelters like the Tulsa Day Center have had to cut how many people are allowed inside. Before COVID, we were having 125 to 100, uh, 130 at night. We're down about 75 to 85. Housing Solutions told counselors the proposed ordinance would create even more barriers for people who are trying to find housing. And so we do believe that this will result in an uptick of people with criminal records in our community and make it even harder to house them. Counselors say they want to continue the conversation about solutions. Right now, groups who help the homeless say they can't support the proposed ordinance the way it's written now. We don't believe it's a permanent solution to the crisis that we fully acknowledge that you're seeing, which is very ill people in very public places um, without a place to go. Now, they want TPD to use the resources it already has now. They also say they're willing to work with officers to find the best solution. Live in Tulsa, Mackenzie Gladney, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.